So this week's episode of Flip Flappers, we really get to focus on Yayaka, a character we have seen quite a bit of throughout the anime, but not one that we've really gone into the mentality of, or the mindset of why she does the things she does. But this week, we truly get to learn kind of who she is and why she's doing everything that she is, and get to learn a lot about her past, and even as a child, it seems like she's been working with this organization, this KKK-looking, cloak-wearing freak show that who knows what type of mentality they have with the robes there wearing but we get to learn a lot more about her and seeing that even as a child she was set on observing and watching Kokona which is very fascinating as her grandmother's at this hospital or this test lab we don't really 100% know as there are these scientists who do kind of capture them later on and they seem like they're more than just the typical doctors that you would have at a hospital the way they were capturing them and I'm questioning with her grandmother was she a part of this project at some point was she being experimented on or were these just normal test procedures but the whole idea idea that Yaika from a young age was told to keep tabs on her that's where you belong was quite interesting and I'm curious really whose daughter Coconut really is because she had to have been the daughter of someone very important and then we get to shift and see that Mimi is I mean this isn't surprising but she was Papika's partner but it seems like there's also the mind manipulation going on either from this KKK side or from Papika's side either one of them has obviously altered Papika's memory in some way to accept that Coconut is her partner, but something's breaking through where she is remembering Mimi, which is obviously going to cause some tension between Coconut and Papika as well, so maybe Yayaka can move back in in Coconut's heart there. But the overall, like, there was so much going on, and this was a much more serious, if not the most serious episode we've had, which is not surprising. We are entering in the final stretch of Flip Flappers. We're in that final arc. We have four episodes remaining. I'm not surprised that we're getting less happy-go-lucky fun times and more of serious shit is getting real, with even Yayaka almost ready to stab Coconut's leg to get the shard that's inside her which seems probably how they activate this power in the world is because of the shards inside them but I mean the entire like episode was just so serious and in a lot of ways brutal in some aspects but Yayaka is a very very interesting character it's probably safe to assume she can't go back to this organization and she will probably work with Kokona but I'm questioning overall for one who truly Kokona is and she has to be the daughter of someone very important I'm no longer thinking Mimi because it seems like Mimi is that blue haired girl we see in the preview but also who is ready to go with Yayaka and the twins there but it seems like Mimi is over there so it also seems like that Papika was probably in that organization as well at one point as well as Salt and the others so I'm thinking that Salt and them probably abandoned them to make their own kind of organization to rebel against them and they probably altered Papika's memory to accept whoever they bring in and whoever survives because like I mentioned a few times in the beginning of episode one we see a dead girl who came from pure illusion so probably they alter Papika's mind every time one of the partners dies to make her accept that it is her partner but now the mentality is probably shattered and breaking and she's remembering like oh I actually had a partner named Mimi so that's an entire interesting thing but I think it's probably safe to assume that Salt and the others broke away from this organization and Papika did come there because Mimi is on their side and Mimi was her partner I don't think they just kidnapped Papika for no reason it's probably they actually you know all fled from there but it's interesting seeing just how isolated and in a lot of ways lonely Yayaka was and her pure illusion world really represents that isolation and kind of loneliness feeling as the entire world is a lot of negative space and even the power that activated that trap coconut and the twins inside that barrier was kind of closed in and sheltered and feeling alone and scared which is exactly how probably Yayaka has been feeling just doing these worlds you know being alone and seeing that the one that even though she was sent to kind of spy on coconut and watch over her that was her friend and she kind of just got swept aside from, by papika someone who came in not too long ago and is already considering coconut to be like she loves her she's a friend and all this and she feels alone and betrayed in a lot of ways and in this world i think really encapsulates what she's been feeling all along but because papika is now remembering mimi i'm wondering if that terror is going to allow yaika to come back into the circle as we do pretty much have a love 
triangle in a lot of ways here, or a friendship triangle. So I'm interested how it's going to proceed if we're going to go in the direction of Yaika moving in and Papika rebelling in any way, or if they're all three are going to come together to fight against this KKK looking organization. It'll be interesting nonetheless, but I think the theme of just isolation and loneliness was really portrayed well. For such a basic world design, it was just very strong with how it executed pretty much everything. I won't lie though, I was getting a little happy at the beginning when we saw Yaika in a space room or in space. I was like, oh, we're getting a space world? I wasn't expecting this. And then we shifted into the actual pure illusion world that we we're going to focus on. It's not to say that it's a disappointment. But I was just really excited because it looked beautiful how they're incorporating space and the reflections on the helmets. I was really excited. Hopefully we get a true space episode before it ends. If we don't, you know, so be it. But I was really hoping that we would get that. But I think it pays off with the whole world that they were using with this. But everything about this episode was just really solid from the gorgeous battle animation. They went very jagged with a lot of it to really allow for a lot of freedom and creativity. The voice acting was on point. And just the scaredness between Kokona as well as Yaika is Kokona is kind of feeling jealous of Mimi while Yaika is being jealous of Papika. So I like the kind of the, the polar opposite nature there and just how everything's kind of bouncing off one another. I'm just interested where next week will go. I'm expecting Yaika to move in and Kokona to probably Rai and her more. And maybe, I'm not sure, but I think overall what I'm thinking is Salt and Papika came from this organization. They rebelled and they wanted to fight against whatever morals and mentality they're going for and they alter Papika's memory every time one of these girls dies as it seems like Kokona is the only one who's been able to survive based on the feeling I'm getting and I assume there's a lot of memory alteration going on here and that's where I see it going. But let me know your thoughts on this episode overall. How did you like the more serious nature? What are you thinking of Mimi, who appears to be this blue-haired girl on the other side? And what do you think of Papika and Kokona and Yaika, this love triangle going on? Where do you think that's going to go? And where do you see next week's going? So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, hit that like button if you did enjoy the video. If you're new to the channel, also be sure to subscribe. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.